Chris Halliday from PowerLogic here. I'm going to show you today how to test an RCD using a Fluke multifunction tester. And we're going to test this RCD in this HPM power board. Let's get into it. We plug the lead into the tester and then plug the tester into this socket outlet board with the RCD that we will test. First, we turn the tester on and on to the RCD test setting. Next, set the tester to 30 milliamps, as this is a 30 milliamp RCD, then to half times test, then for a sine wave, as the RCD is a sine wave type, and for zero degrees. The first test will therefore test this portable power board RCD for 50% residual rated current. Whoops, I forgot to turn the socket outlet on as the tester wouldn't work. Now the RCD should not trip and the RCD confirms this with a reading greater than 310 milliseconds. We will now do the half times test again, but now at 180 degrees and again it doesn't trip. The 180 degrees setting means we will test the RCD with the waveform starting in the negative half cycle and likewise the zero degrees test means we start testing in the positive half cycle. Next we will test for one times rated current at 180 degrees and it needs to trip within 300 milliseconds and yes it passes 19.9 milliseconds. The next test is at one times rated current at zero degrees and again it should trip within 300 milliseconds and yes it does, nine and a half milliseconds. The next test is at five times and zero degrees and again it passes but less than 40 milliseconds as specified in table five of ASNZS 3190. We will now do the five times test again but at 180 degrees and this test also passes the 40 millisecond requirement. The last test we should do is a ramp test to see what current the RCD trips at. We set the tester for the ramp test and wait for the RCD to trip. The tester shows the RCD trips at 24 milliamps. We could also do this test at 180 degrees. This RCD is operating as designed and expected to ensure safety.